onregularradio.com. And welcome back to Citywide Blackout on Unregular Radio. Dot com. I'm your co-host, Ramel, joined by Max, and of course, joining us in the studio, one of the illest DJs in town, Mr. Encanti himself, and one of the illest VJs in town. I mean, I guess both of these guys, known as Zebler and Canty, <laughs> illest tandem in the world. How's that? Aww, there we go. Wow. Thanks, That's a hell of a title. Pretty dope, dope guest. Yeah, too. very cool. It's very really cool. good to see you guys again. Yeah, right? definitely, man. We had you guys on like uh, months ago, but a shit ton has happened since then. Yeah, That's man. Totally shit. True. Yeah, I mean, right. yeah, I mean, like you guys were. You guys actually had were, were just about to um, uh, to, uh, to go on uh, the Spongle tour. Um, I get, did I get that wrong? Uh, the, well, Zeb- Zebler just got back from Spongle tour, okay. and we've got some stuff coming up with Spongle right okay, now. Okay, cool. Um, All right. Uh, uh, Zebler just finished the, Sp- the Spongle Tron tour. That's a, a giant sculpture he made that Simon Posford was in the middle of that he projected onto, and all the vis- visualizations were mapped. And uh, and that just finished. How many shows do you have? Like 40, 70 shows? Something like that? Uh, it was probably close to 60 shows altogether. Damn. We played probably every major festival in the U.S. at this point, and wow. uh, we had a really good run. Awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So like um 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 a sixty tours over like uh, how long a time we're talking? Um, well, all right, things kind of just really picked a, uh, picked up for us in in March. Okay. Uh, in Canty and I went both uh, on tour with Yoto. We were their openers as uh, as a Win Canty experience, and I also had a visual package that I developed for Yoto as well. And what is Yoto mostly? What uh, is that? Yoto are two members of the String Cheese incident. Uh, oh. They decided that they really like electronic music and no they just want to play with each other. So they, oh. they play all improvised music and it's all dubstep pretty much, but it's all improv all it's the time. the best improvised electronic music yeah, I've ever heard. And the fact that they never repeat, like every single set they have is totally different. Yeah, I, I saw them like, like 50, 60 times in a row and every single time I'm like, yeah, you know? Like, <laughs> Right, so and this is the, the jam band, the string cheese incident. Right, right, right. right. Okay. The, wow. Uh, right, so Michael, Travis, and uh, Jason Han from the String Cheese are Eoto, and we went on tour with them. Basically, a pretty big national tour. It was really fun to open for them because our music styles definitely match up pretty well. Yeah. And our personalities match up. Too. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are pretty crazy. And so right after that tour, uh, a month of that, I um, I had to hop on the Spongletron tour. And, uh, you know, so probably from April through through uh, part of July, I was uh, touring with Spongel. And that was, that was pretty intense. I mean, at this point, from March until now, uh, me and this is Zebler talking, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've, I've literally crossed this country probably six or seven times. Wow. Holy crap. Yeah, and uh, probably about five of those times I drove myself. So. <laughs> Oof. It's it's been quite an intense yeah intense nice year for nice me. Yeah. Uh, what was um what was uh, the best place you played? Um, you know I kind of like some of the some of the festivals that I've yeah? I've witnessed okay. and uh, my three favorite festivals of the summer, uh, starting with the first one Coachella was uh, one of my favorites, and then uh, Electric Forest and uh, of course Burning Man was Burning uh, Man was really amazing, <laughs> and all three of these festivals have something in common and that is. It's not just about the music, it's about the atmosphere, it's about the surroundings, it's about the art, it's about keeping the place clean and respecting each other and just really Hmm. good vibes everywhere. No riots then? Uh, (laughs) No, I mean, we had our own internal craziness going on. Oh, yeah. (laughs) It was uh, probably our fourth show, so nothing's been ironed out. Oh, yeah. We were being made to do everything, driving for 20 hours straight, oh, getting geez. there, being completely exhausted, oh, things no. not working, us not being used to a giant festival. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they don't care about us. We're, the festival is so big, they're like, hey, sure, yeah. you had to be here half an hour ago, Yeah, you lost your time. Deal oh, with oh, it. shit. You know, that type of thing. Damn. Yeah. So it's, right. it's pretty intense. Did you see any uh, cool mutant vehicles out at Burning Man? <sighs> oh, this yeah. year was all about the vehicles, honestly. Really? Yeah. Crazy scorpions, you know. Yes, <laughs> someone made this big steampunk octopus. That was what? The best. It had its arms that were going up and down, and it had all these, all you know, every single side had eyes and beaks, and it was shooting fire out of it. Oh, out no of That is so yeah. fucking crazy. Every single awesome. tentacle had fire yeah. like a flamethrower shooting yeah, out. You should YouTube that one, Steampunk. Oh, my Punk God. Oh, it's yeah. pretty awesome. You know, I actually saw something not quite like that, but like uh, equally cool. This guy. 
Uh, he owned this like his, th- this um, construction company. Lost his place, lost his land, and also lost his shit. Outfitted a tractor with like with like um um armor plating for guns, and she went on like a rampage through his town, oh, just no. trashing everything he could find. Uh, I guess it's kind of like Burning Man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't want that. But know, we're burning. Yeah. It's like like reminds you of that. You know, this guy just just creates this like a giant um a killdozer and yeah, goes yeah. like a rampage over the town. Yeah, I got uh, to play on this cool art car. You I did? On, uh, nice. My roommate made this thing called Sustainable Sound. Yeah. Sean Stevens invented it, and it's a it's a art car that, uh, it wasn't quite mobile yet at Burning Man, but you get a bunch of people pedaling on this thing, yep. oh, yeah. and it gets these lights and a whole sound system to to to, to go. It's a it's completely powered. human-powered art car. Nice. Oh. No gasoline or anything Oof. used for it. Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. And Yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to ask, what were some of the uh, cooler acts that you might have caught at some of these tours that you might not have seen anywhere it, you know might not heard of it unless you were actually performing at one of these festivals but like cool electronic acts or rock acts or anything that really stood out uh you know i i played at uh um sonic bloom this year in colorado yeah okay and uh i got to see uh uh michael travis's uh, side project called zilla oh. that was those guys are really tight they're kind of like Yoto. I also saw Unlimited Gravity and Unlimited Aspect. They're a crew out of uh, Colorado that uh, I'm about to go play with again on September 16th in uh, Colorado. Oh, wow. and I'm really stoked to, about seeing those guys again because they just make great music. I mean, there's a lot of really good independent music yeah. being made out there right now in yeah, the electronic Co- Colorado's world. Colorado is pretty amazing. Yeah. That's really awesome. Yeah, dig it, man. Dig it. All right. Well, actually, uh, why don't we um, I'll play some of the music now? Take a little break here. Uh, any uh, particular songs you guys want us to rock today? Uh, well, we we have an EP coming out. All uh, right, called the final sign. It's going to be out on uh, Beatport. Uh, I think Aditech iTunes on um, September twentieth. Okay, so we'll do that. And uh, there is there is a specific remix of ours yeah. that I'm I'm a really big fan of. Yeah, it's by these guys called Dice Motion. And first of all, I'm kind of biased towards it because it features my vocals in a way that's <laughs> different from every other remix we, we've got so far. Um, but this one specifically feels like it has a lot of soul to it. The guys like really went for it. You know, they, they took the challenge and they really ran with it. And I'm kind of resonating and really vibing with that kind of style. So yeah, and they're, and they're Berkeley students too. They're from around here, and this was they were really enthusiastic about it. Uh, the guys in Dice Motion, uh, his name's Wigbert and Joel, the two guys in the group, and uh, their live shows are wild. And I just was totally vibing with their music, and I threw them the stems, and they produced this amazing track in like a week. Right. And if, if you guys want to see them live, if you want to see us live, we have a, an EP release party coming up at Wonder Bar on the 21st. These guys will be there uh, as well opening for us. So it should be a really good show. That's going to be at the Wobble Wednesday, right? Yeah, that's correct. That's, uh, that's a Vermin Street. Is that a Vermin Street? Uh, no, actually, it's, it's not. Uh, it's or? not totally affiliated with Vermin Street. They're, okay. they're really good friends of ours, though. And the, the show is going to be good, I think. But the EP is coming out on Vermin Street. September 20th is our first... Zebler and Canty experience release. Official Zebler and Canty experience release. Yeah. And uh, this is one of the tracks on it. Oh, All awesome. right. So just give me uh, one second, guys. Here we'll get this thing loaded up. Uh, like so point. this is probably the world, world, world premiere of uh, sorts, right? In, in the radio world. In yeah. the radio world. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. This thing is. We, we've dropped is, this live, and every time I drop it, people go nuts. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go then. The final sign with uh, Dice Motion. <laughs> 